Hi there learners and welcome to today's video in which we are still looking at financial documents. This time we are looking at the tax invoice. Okay, now I know I'm saying grade 10, but this does apply to grade 11 as well. They'll have slightly differently, but the same principles still apply. Okay, so here we have an, um, an example of a tax invoice. You can see the layout. We can see the name of the company over there. Tax invoice, the description. Um, you know, payment methods and things like that. So let, let's just have a look over here. What do we have? So here you can see these are the details. This is what the tax invoice is going to. Um, this is going to Bayside Club. You can see the details over there where it's located. We can also then go and see over here the company name. And again, it's just demo company. We can see the invoice date the details of our demo company, the invoice number, the reference number and the VAT number. OK, so these are all things that that can be asked. All right, then over here we have a description of the particular items. So we've got a courier charge. We've got golf balls over there. Um, they tell us the quantity. They give us the unit price. So if it's one, the unit price of one is 10 rand over here they bought 40 but if i just bought one it would be four and 67 each so it's going to be you know in order for me to get my total it would be my quantity multiplied by my unit price um, and then i'm gonna add that over here right so that'll give me my total over there then the two together those two items that's what gives me my subtotal right so if i add five items over here it would be the five items, um, you know, adding their total together, that would give me my subtotal. Then my VAT is calculated on that subtotal. In this case, it's 20%. So I'd have to calculate 20% of that, right? And that would give me my 37, 33 over here. And when I add those two together, my subtotal and my VAT, that is what gives me my total. Okay, if there's any sort of discount, it'll usually apply after the VAT. Um, but that's what it looks like. And then over here at the bottom, you can see that. Let's just go over here. You can see that there is a due date by which it must be paid. They give me different payment options as well. The banking details. So all of those things are on the invoice. Payment advice, right? So if I just want to go and pay this, I can cut this slip off. Again, they give me the details and they just summarize everything. That's the customer invoice number, the amount due and by when it is due. Okay, so that is our tax invoice and you can see how much can be asked from that particular document.